come, come. Or is that gonna break? Such a fun job. Testing if it breaks or not. Hello. Hi, welcome to BR. Hi, Teresa. Nice to meet you. First of all, who are you and um, what are we gonna see today here? My name is Frederick Beal. I'm uh, the general manager of, of the group. I saw there's a new logo. Yeah. It's purple, it looks like a rope. Do you have anything new and exciting to show us today? So yeah, so today I think that one of the main reasons you're here is to show you our brand new rope. This is the Sunrise 9.2 millimeters. It's a single rope but made with 100% recycled nylon. Is this the first rope on the market that's 100% recycled? Absolutely. Um, it is 100% recycled. And what is the most important is that the carbon footprint has been reduced by 76% compared to a standard rope. So let me show you around. All right, which way? This way. So it's no secret that Bill makes ropes and you're well known for your ropes. When did it all start? Because I can tell this machine has a couple of years, yeah. but what's the story behind Bale? So the story behind Bale is that the company has been created by my grandparents in 1951. Uh, and my father joined the company uh, in 1974 and decided in 1975 that there was a possibility to expand our market because we were manufacturing shoelaces and they saw the opportunity to manufacture climbing ropes. So you're the third generation. Yeah, I am. I am the third generation. And I guess this new full air cycle rope is an excellent example. And is that where we're going to see the company go? When I started in the company in the early 2000s, uh, we were already recycling the nylon, the waste of nylon we have in production. My grandmother did it uh, and we didn't wait it for this new how can I say that? Trend? Uh, yeah, Maybe. this new trend, the like ecological trend. I'm just wondering where are the ropes actually made? Because I can see like a little bit of it. Yeah. But uh, where does all the action take place? So two places for the action. Madagascar for 50% of the rope. Okay. And 50% are just in here. Can I go see? Yeah, of course. Let's go. I introduce you to Axel. Axel will make the tour with you. Hi, Teresa. Hello. I brought you some uh, nice equipment. Let's go and have a tour uh, at the production. All righty. So for the steps of the production, you have to, to understand that what we are looking at now is not only for dynamic rope, but also for low stretch ropes. And the machines are not like in the right order. So some of them are making the shift, some others are making the core. I will focus on dynamic ropes, that's what interests us today. So the first stage is to reduce and retract the nylon, because one meter of nylon will stretch up to 20% its length, which is not enough for a dynamic rope. So we want to retract it to 80, so that it extends up to 40%. Then the second step, because the initial yarn of nylon is not strong enough, so you want to assemble them to make them stronger. And here you have many steps where you assemble in a parallel way, then you're going to start introducing twists. So the machine there is not uh, unique to uh, manufacturing rope. It's the same as for t-shirts or, or other textile products. We are making big socks that will be then dye, apply like technologies like the dry cover, for example. And then we're going to unspool again this sock to make the shift. So this is the final stage and the more like visual stage, I would say, that, that people know is where basically the sheath is braided around the core. And here, according to which rope we are making, we can play with how many spools of yarn we're going to use, how many cables. The quality control, we have different ways of doing it. First, we can control the, the batches. So that's what we are doing at the drop tower but every single meter of rope that we are producing are passing through the machine called Sophie. So you can see the long neck, so it's referring to Sophie the giraffe, and through the hands of people working here. And it will control the weight per meter of the rope, the length, and any defect possible. So laser and human hands. So when you are climbing with your rope, you know that every single meter of it went through those hands.
So as you can see, we have the production just here. Mm -hmm. so we are making the ropes and here we are in the office. So I will introduce you to the part of the R&D team. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your job here at Bale? Um, so I'm product manager working in soft goods. So that's going to be taking into account all products from sports harnesses to backpacks to really anything that isn't ropes or metal. So I've been working a lot on the sports harnesses, um, the upcoming collection, and we're working on several different models to really try and bring something new to the market. Can you show me some? I'd love to. If you follow me, we'll be able to go check them out. All right. So as you can see, we have a lot of new products uh, coming out. So we really try to sort of implement the ban mindset. So for example, with our new backpacks, um, we store Sir Cotton's here in France to really try and be more local. We've also managed to use recycled polyamid for our upcoming ropes. Bial is a very colorful brand. It always has been. Um, the idea is to really try and take that history and use it in an extremely positive manner, but also be able to have sort of that functionality to our products and be able to design smartly our products using color as one of our levers. What I like about the product we have here is that all of them express how we, how we do things differently. In our range, we are really missing uh, adjustable lanyard. If you look at the ones that are already on the market, as soon as you go multi-pitching and you are having your adjustable lanyard, what were you missing? Something to put your belay device. So we have it, uh, we have the Expresso, which is already available. And we have here now, coming soon, the adjustable version with this small loop where you can attach here your belay device. So you have a double lanyard, as light and compact as a single one, and it's adjustable. I arrived at Beal two years ago, and I was wondering about a recycled rope, and Frédéric, the general director, told me it was not possible to make. And now, two years later, it's actually, on it's on the table. And this one will be 9.2 millimeters, and this one is like half ropes in 8.4. Here on these helmets, it was a product that was missing in our range. It's a good helmet, light, very comfortable, and where we could express the identity of the brand. You thought the video was done, but there's actually one last really cool thing they want to show us. Let's go. Come, come. Follow him. So we're here testing for a factor two fall. That means there's two meters of rope out and the fall is of four meters. And uh, just two clicks away. This is one of the best beaners if you're a sport climber and you like to red point. Because it's really fatty down here. Mm -hmm. Look, broken ah, things. The this oh, is the best Adina. department probably Adina. to work in, just like yeah. smashing up everything. We're in the bale testing room. I found a pile of ropes and I just felt I needed to sit in it. Look how colorful now. Like, this is such a fun job, just testing if it breaks or not. What did you come here to test? I'm testing the interaction between the webbing and the metallic buckles. I'm testing them also in the machine to check if it's strong enough to respect the standards. What's going on here? Is that going to break? Yeah. So now we are going, uh, Mark is doing quality control on a batch of things that we have received. Okay. So we're going to, to verify that they break at the right, uh, at the right strength. All right. Okay. Go. It's all it breaks. The needs have found. So that was the weak point, not the actual sling. No, it's always the sewing. It's always the sewing. Yeah. The entire is warm and like the fiber is all like you know if you take if you if you want to, to test a rope it'll be the same you, mm -hmm. you check and you, you can really see that yeah it has no shape anymore 
Okay, so there you go, another factory tour done. It's always fascinating to see the story behind these climbing brands, especially one like Bale, which at the same time as embracing its origins, is trying to create new ways to become as sustainable and innovative as possible. Their new fully recycled nylon ropes represent a fresh perspective on how to manufacture climbing gear. Right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.